Hi everybody, Yara here. Just a little podcast, um, basically for all those that are interested in astrology, astrology buffs. It's just because it's so blatant or blatantly obvious. Basically, first off, if you live in the countryside, look west and you'll see a very tight conjunction between Jupiter and Venus in the night sky, quite close to the horizon. But they are almost exact tonight. And also in astrology. Now, what is very interesting is last April, I published also a podcast with the same players, in the same signs. So we have again, so Venus, Jupiter, and Chiron in Aries. Chiron stayed and moved a little bit in Aries, and Chiron will stay in Aries until 2027. So quite a long sojourn in Aries. But since last April, Jupiter and Venus have come full circle. Though last year I think they conjuncted around 9 or 10 degrees, now they are 12 degrees and Chiron is at 13 degrees. So if you know where Aries falls in your chart, in which house, and if you know if it does aspect any other planet or ascendant at 13 or 12 degrees, particularly the fire signs and air signs, this will really like give you a sense of deja vu. At the same time, we have a very, very quite rapid but very sober aspect at the 29th degrees in Aquarius, 29th degrees in any sign is the degree point that is or that amplifies. It's a very important degree point. And there we have Mercury and Saturn meeting tomorrow or in the night. I am in Europe. Uh, so it would be uh, European time. Now, what I want to say is, and I don't want to make this long, last year I spoke about when the title was When Love Hurts. And here we have similar themes, actually, that will come up, that have come up last April. And as you know, Chiron, the mythology is the centaur or the wounded healer. For me, Chiron is also the karmic wound that you might take along with you, so to speak, like baggage. And when it is in Aries, together with Venus and Jupiter, and <laughs> repeating what we have experienced last April, it means it's round two, love hurts, maybe two big expenditures hurt. The stock market could also be influenced and would do maybe erratic things because it's in Aries. Aries is the first fire sign and is also allocated to the head usually to the actual physical appearance. But here, we're gonna just focus on that. And what I feel is happening, that we're gonna be revisiting a wound. And since Jupiter amplifies, Venus is love, and it's in Aries, it's passionate it's rapid, it's tumultuous, it's fiery because Aries is a fire sign, but we are stomping old 
on old ground like last year so maybe as venus and air uh, venus and jupiter have done full circle and are back in aries maybe throughout 2022 and up on till now you've been able to heal a wound or it's coming back round and you have to look at it i said it last year april chiron in aries cannot be overlooked it's a wound that cannot be ignored because it will be burning it will be there staring you literally in the face so it can mean as i said a great expenditure because venus jupiter in aries means compulsive sudden expenditures also compulsive sudden re-meetings with other people or you're coming full cycle at a particular point in time where something very painful happened in your love re relationship also it could mean that you sustained head injuries or facial injuries aries is the head venus is often associated obviously with the face and the beauty of the face chiron the wound so maybe you're healing from head or facial head trauma but to me it really means that maybe on the karmic level the wound that you have been sort of schlepping along cannot be ignored in um, in aries and you're going around more or less the same degree point means you're retracing your steps you're going over this again and it hurts it burns it's again very very rapid it's 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 volatile explosive and you cannot ignore it so this is just a little tidbit the other aspect that is very rapid but very sober but at a very very crucial degree point at 29 degrees is mercury conjunction saturn mercury will race over saturn but still will have about two days or three days off the conjunction and it actually is almost diametrically diamet can i still speak opposed to this very volatile very uh, emotional happenings in aries and that one mercury and saturn are in aquarius aquarius air sign very detached the most detached of all the air signs mercury is very detached because it's our mental machinations it's everything to do with communication how we communicate what thoughts we have saturn is grounding saturn can be foundations saturn can be limitations whereas mercury is communication be it written be it spoken be it done over the internet it's communication and it could be limiting maybe you're about to sign a deed for a house and you will have sort of hidden clauses or hidden sort of little buttons in the spokes of your wheel that can be Saturn, but it's a short lived, very sober aspect or conjunction. It also gives you detachment, complete emotional detachment. So maybe in relation to this very big emotional heat bubble jupiter it, he's a gaseous giant venus also with chiron the wound so maybe you can say yay or nay you can say no to a situation without getting embroiled in it emotionally it's a yes or no or it's a very sober response to something uber effective
über emotional. So I just wanted to share that. So you're covering all ground with Venus, Jupiter and Chiron. And Chiron will be staying until 2027 in Aries. So a lot of healing for Aries people. A lot of healing going on for people with rising sign Aries or any kind of other fire sign rising. As an end note, it affects me directly because my rising sign is a 12th degree in Sagittarius, which is nice. It's a trine, but you still have Chiron. All right. So the conjunction between Venus Jupiter is at 12 degrees in Aries for those who know the birth chart better and Chiron is at 13 degrees. Venus will be faster and will make a direct conjunction very soon in a matter of days with Chiron. Love hurts. Also, childhood issues will come up again. Alrighty, love you all. Bye-bye. Love you.